going to go out fairly soon. I'm just drinking my lemon water at the moment. After that, we're going to go for a walk and then just go enjoy the fresh air before it starts to rain. But before I do that, and what I do a lot of the time, if I have time, get onto YouTube and I'll watch an inspirational video. At the moment, I'm watching the one and only... Oh my god, my, my reflection is so prominent can you see ralph smart there yeah so i'm watching ralph smart oh no i accidentally gave him a dislike oops <gasps> oopsies I gotta give him a like sorry ralph that was an accident he is up there in one of my favorite youtubers i've been watching him for literally years since i was a teenager i think he's absolutely amazing i think he's so inspiring and i really um I really get what he talks about, you know, I really feel like, I mean, I realised quite early on that I'm on a, quite a spiritual journey in my life, like, I've, I've always felt a bit, um, kind of like an outcast, like, I don't really fit in, and, uh, you know, that was very prominent when I was in school. When I found his videos, everything kind of made sense, because he talks a lot about self-discovery, the people who resonate with his videos are different, and it's because we're, we realise that we are... Uh, just spiritual beings living this human experience and I've known that since Since I can remember but I never really knew how to put it into words and I think um, you know being an adult with this perspective It really has helped me to follow my dreams and to do what I want to do So anyway, that was a complete tangent, but basically I absolutely adore Ralph Smart and I really resonate with his videos I think that he's very inspiring He's just ace. He's just such a cool guy. So I watch him quite a lot on YouTube and as I said, I have watched him for ages. So this morning I'm watching one of his videos and then we'll go out and enjoy some nature. Just like Ralph Smart does in all of his videos. <laughs> this is probably my favourite place in this area. I just love hearing the water and it's just so peaceful around here. I was just thinking if you guys would like me to do more videos talking about spirituality and I, I mean I don't, I don't know spiritual uh, the thing is I don't really like putting a label on like what I believe because I, I really think that your belief system is something that's so personal to who you are for me I always say my religion is love I personally do not tie myself to any religion um, I'm not a believer in God, but I do believe that we are all connected. I believe that there is so much higher energy and higher power than what we are. I think it's very small-minded to think that we are the only, the only intelligent life form in this universe. That's my perspective. I thought I'd just sit down for a minute and just enjoy the beach, the beach, the the sea. I'm probably gonna be inside for the whole day. I mean, it's cool. I quite like being at home, <laughs> to be honest. It, it's really funny because everyone is kind of quarant not quarantined in, in Japan, but they're kind of being advised uh, to stay at home. And uh, for me, <laughs> it's just like so easy because I love. I'm a complete homebody. I absolutely adore having nights in. I love kicking back with a cup of tea and a book or Netflix or just having a phone call with family, that kind of thing. Like I really, I would take that any day over uh, going out like clubbing or to a bar or something. I'm quite introverted and I didn't actually realize it until I graduated that I actually am. Well, I guess it depends on the situation. What I've, what I've meant um, earlier was that when I was in school, it was difficult because I was different. I always knew I wanted to do music and also I was quite nerdy and I was always very small. I mean, here in Japan, I'm quite normal sized, but uh, or quite average sized. But when I was in England, when I am in England, I'm so small. I'm literally like five foot one, five foot two. Um, so I'm super, super short by English standards. We always have helicopters in this area and I never know why, they're always so freaking loud. So you're gonna hear this uh, helicopter going overhead any second. Oh my God, it's so loud. I'm so sorry. Can you just not? It literally flew right above my head. So inconsiderate. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I don't know if you hear that. There's literally a guy who's gonna, uh, who's walking. Can you hear that? He's singing so lovely. <laughs> this 
so nice. Anyway, I'm gonna move on and we're going to uh, get back to my house and uh, get ready to do some singing. It's literally like my favorite thing to do on a Monday is just spend a day recording or making music. All right, so I have my ginger tea now. It is steaming. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a lot of steam coming out of this bad boy. Basically, I just want to give you a little update of what I've been doing recently, not today, but in general, because I have started my own Patreon page. And the reason I'm doing this is because Hello Vegan Bee is such a fun project for me. I really enjoy it and I really love being able to have the time and the energy to make uh, videos, make blog posts and um, you know just show you my life as a vegan in Japan. I set up this Patreon so that I can basically get some money for what I'm doing and I don't like being like give me your money, I don't want it to be like that and I'm not saying that you have to sign up to my Patreon but I am saying that if you uh, want to you can basically it's not I'm not saying like I need you to do it, but if you want to support the Hello Vegan Bee journey in that way, then that is so appreciated. And I think I would like to just have something open for the people who support my page if they would like to, you know, contribute to my channel in that way. And um, basically, the money from that Patreon, it would go back into paying myself for all of the time and energy that I spend making these blog posts, making these videos for you guys. If I made enough money from it, I would like to think about making merch, doing giveaways, making things for you guys to have. I really like the idea I saw um, on this eco merch shop that you could like design your own aprons and I thought that would be so fitting because this is such like a food based channel. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that I have made a Patreon and I feel it, I know this kind of section of the video has been a bit like because uh, 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 I, I hate asking for money. I set this up as a kind of way to be able to help this channel to grow. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you know I have made a Patreon and I'll link it down below and you can find it on my website, my Facebook, on the Vegan Bee Community Facebook page, all of that. When I'm doing any kind of singing or even piano, I have to warm up. It makes my voice sound better. It makes singing for a longer period of time much easier. And uh, yeah, that's what I do. Oh, that doesn't sound good, does it? But As you can tell, I do mainly scales. In a minute, I'm gonna do some sirens, which is just going from a note to another note and back down again, sliding. I am feeling a little bit croaky today, so I'm gonna make myself a spiced ginger tea. I can't play. Ah! Try that again. Also, you're gonna hear the kettle growing off behind me, so just um, just ignore that if possible. I am a soprano, I am a top soprano, very proud, <laughs> but I do try and push myself on the lower notes, that's where it does sound a little bit kind of, um, what's the word, like I'm struggling, <laughs> because frankly I am. If you want to expand your vocal range actually, I would recommend practicing the notes that you struggle with on a daily basis, just doing like scales, you don't even have to like practice songs. For me personally, I always practice how I would be recording. So, for example, I have my song playing in my right side. 
and then I have my left ear free. So once I've done all the vocal recordings, I will mix it. That will be kind of the process. If you do want to know about that though, do let me know because I, I love mixing and I love talking about mixing. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, two. Da, ba, da, ba, da. Ah, 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 ah. Hi, so, okay, so I've got a lot to catch you up on. Last time you saw me, I was recording vocals and while I had to quickly leave the house, I was reminded that I had to go run a really important errand that I could only do that time at that day. So I had to leave. I left the house at like 12 and um, it's now quarter past three. <laughs> So I've been out for three hours. I was supposed to eat at 12. I haven't eaten anything today. I managed to do a bit of singing and it all went really well. And then I had to rush out. Basically, I, I, do, I couldn't film any of that. I was like in this business building doing like really boring adult stuff. I'm starving now. And so I treated myself to some natto sushi <laughs> to make me feel better about the fact that I just spent three hours just being moved around this building while trying to communicate with people um, who I can't understand very well. And I was just kind of here like uh, uh, awkwardly saying yes and no and I don't know and... <laughs> but the point is, <sighs> I'm home now and I have my sushi. I got some soy sauce in a little tub here as well. Now they say that you're supposed to eat sushi in one bite, but I personally don't do that because it's a bit too much for me. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's so good. Oh my God. That was so worth the wait. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. This stuff is so good. Let me know in the comments if you are a European who likes natto. Because I don't actually know any Europeans or people who aren't Japanese that like natto. Mmm. Oh my. It's real good. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. I was kind of hoping to be finished doing vocals by now um, so I could start relaxing. I might just do a little bit more vocal recording, make up for the time that I lost. Also, I forgot to mention, it was raining outside. It was such a beautiful day when I left, so I was like, I don't need a coat, I'll just take this blazer and a scarf, which I did, and then I got out. It was just pouring down with rain, so I had to like wrap my scarf around my head and I had my mask here, so I was really cush deep. I was not, not ready for that. Mm. Oh my. Mm, mm, mm. I wanted to say as well, I want to make a separate video or I'm making a separate video, especially for the more music-y side of this video. So like how I warm up, you know, different techniques I use, recording and singing, that kind of thing. Cause I think that in itself can be a whole separate video. So you're going to see a little a bit of that today or you will have seen a little bit of that today in uh, this video. But if you want to see like a more in-depth thing, then go over to my other channel, Jazzy Heath Music, and uh, it should be up at some point soon, hopefully. Mm. Mm. Oh mm. I'm so happy now, right now. <laughs> oh, so good news. I managed to, oh my God, freaking lighting. That's better. I managed to get the take, woo. I did all the lead vocals today and I'll probably do all of the backing vocals at some point this week, but I got all the lead vocals done, which is what I really wanted to do today. So I can basically just relax now for the rest of the day. <laughs> Thank goodness. Hi, so we've just jumped ahead in time a few hours forward and um, spent some time editing the vocals. I'm really happy with them. They sound really nice. I've spent a bit of time watching some YouTube as well. So I've kind of been chilling slash working and I think it's just coming up to quarter to six. So I will be starting to chill out soon because I've got an early start tomorrow. I'm waking up at 5.30 again. I don't have as much time in the morning tomorrow. I've got to leave the house at seven. 
So I need to get a nice good night's sleep, have a sleepy tea, maybe read a book and watch some Netflix. That's usually how I spend my evenings and I'm quite happy with that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you so much for coming along with me today and I really hope you enjoyed this kind of different video. We didn't really talk much about food, although that natto sushi was insane. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, and I, I gotta eat. I completely forgot when it probably comes up to like six, half six, I'll probably start making food. I'm thinking lentils. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys have a beautiful day. Let me know if you like this kind of video and if you want me to make more. Yeah, thank you so much and until next time.